when you get time, check out this video I'm about to show you. I'm not going to show the whole thing, just a few moments of it. It's a prank on a girl who thinks all of her loved ones have been raptured and she is left behind. She gets very, very scared, thinking she is stuck on Earth during what they claim to be a very scary seven-year tribulation period. I mean, there's actually quite a few videos on YouTube of people doing this to people. Check it out. Oh, and by the way, you could see how there's like a purse down there and the clothing and all that. It looks like somebody was visiting and they got raptured. But uh, her brother, I think, is the one that does this. And he's the one that's putting all the text on the screen. I'm not the one putting that text up there. So check it out. Okay, that is so sad, that poor girl. And now check this out. This guy's on GoFundMe. He's looking to raise $10,000 cash so he can buy a bunch of blow-up dolls. His plan is to fill them with helium and then release them close to churches as they're having their services. And when the dolls float over the church, he then plans to film the entire thing after running into the church shouting that the rapture has started. In the video of the girl screaming, wherein the prankster placed that clothing on the floor to make it look like he was raptured out of the clothing, one can see why that poor girl got so fearful. Her pastor is one of the many false prophets that were to come in our day that teach about a secret rapture. And so she literally thought she had been left behind, even though she shouted she repented of her sins that morning. That scared her to death because she was not taught about the promised peace of Jesus Christ where it would be in her heart. And without Jesus in the heart, Truth cannot find entrance. And when truth cannot gain entry into the heart, well, then lies become truth unto them. That means any lie can then be used to further manipulate and even persecute the one that believes the lies. You know, since the people being pranked in these videos believe the already proven lie of a secret rapture, then the new lie that had already happened and they were left behind cultivates even more fear in their hearts. But if they knew Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then every lie of the devil would be easily exposed by simply trusting Bible Scripture. What I mean is, the obedient Bible student who trusts the Bible and not the man-made theories filled with all sorts of gaps in their prophetic theology, these students of the Bible know the secret rapture in a seven-year tribulation period is a lie. And so they wouldn't be taken off guard because they've read all the Bible verses that talk about the second coming, and not just the ones that are twisted from the pulpits. And so a scary prank like this would have no effect on them in any way, shape, or form. Studying the Word of God and accepting His Word as the final say is the only way the seeker can find Jesus Christ as Savior so as to gain the perfect peace that is promised to all. Not only will it prevent them from believing lies like this, the peace Jesus gives them fills them with joy instead of fearing that the world is truly about to end. Thank you for watching. God bless.